What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what the future of UK nightlife might look like post lockdown as things start to ease here in the UK. If you're new here, my name is Carl Thomas. I'm a DJ based just outside of London in the United Kingdom and my channel is all about helping and giving advice to DJs through product unboxings, tutorials and also DJ vlogs. If that sounds of interest to you, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new content. So for today's video, I've come to my former Saturday night residency, which is Mocha Nightclub in Crawley. Just to provide some context, Crawley is a fairly large town located in the southeast of England. It is a short distance from Gatwick Airport and the tourist hotspot coastal city of Brighton. In terms of nightlife, Crawley has a variety of small bars and pubs serving largely a local crowd. There are also two nightclubs, one smaller and the largest one, Mocha, which is where I used to play on Saturday nights. In the entrance hall now, I haven't been here since March. It literally looks like we shut the doors and walked away. This is a three room nightclub and holds 1,200 people. I say three rooms, but we only actually use two of them. One of the rooms is actually abandoned and I'll show you now because it's kind of a bit eerie in there um, and it hasn't been used in several years. So this is actually one of the old rooms of the club that isn't used anymore. First and foremost, apologies for the lighting. It's appalling in here um, just because this room isn't used anymore and a bit like a building site, abandoned. It's actually pretty creepy. Um, so this used to be, if you can see that, one of the bar areas, sort of cables hanging down from the roof, some old uh, drapes kind of just covering things up. And we'll just move round into the the main area. Got a couple of bins here. And then this is the main area. And it's hard to believe that this, this room hasn't been used in some years. Um, formerly, this nightclub used to be called Liquid and Envy. And this was the Envy room. So we've got the old drapes there covering up the other bar. And moving round here, one of, sort of, you can see in the, in the distance there, the, one of the fire doors. It's so dark, so apologies, you can't really see much. Uh, old lighting rig, we haven't got much in there anymore. Uh, this is the dance floor here. And then coming over here, we've got the, the DJ booth. I'm not gonna spend too much longer in here just because it's a bit creepy. And to be quite honest, you can't really see a lot. So just come out of the Envy room and now just going up the main stairwell. So Envy isn't used anymore. Uh, used to be the alternative music room of the club, hosting R&B, hip hop music. We're heading just upstairs into the main room now. Absolutely massive building this. So one thing I want to note is that everything mentioned in this video is my speculation and educated guesses. So we're moving into the main room now, and as you can see, it's pretty large and centered around a large dance floor with a DJ booth overlooking the whole room. One thing you'll notice is some seating, but not to cater for large crowds, which is not ideal in the current climate if social distancing is to be maintained. So without really overhauling the space and drastically increasing the number of seats, it's going to be quite hard to maintain social distance. As we move upstairs into the party room, you can see it's very much a similar situation. Whilst the room is smaller, you can see that there's not a lot of seating and everything is centered around a dance floor. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little walking tour of my former Saturday residency. Quite eerie seeing the club in that way, but um, I think it really kind of hit home walking around just how difficult it's going to be to implement some kind of social distancing plan in a venue like that. Yes, there is some seating and you could argue that um, people would need to pre-book some seating, but in order to make the most of the space and in order to turn a profit, I think venues are going to have to effectively change their whole business model, taking the emphasis away from the dance floor or almost dividing up the dance floor and just making it kind of more VIP centric. 
And yeah, you could argue that that would work in a lot of venues in the UK, but it's not going to be a one-size-fits-all, and it probably wouldn't work in some clubs. If you go overseas um, to Las Vegas or um, even some venues in Ibiza now, this is more of a model that they are adapting to, just simply because they can make more money off the floor space. So that's the seating argument, but what about if a club was to open with, say, a reduced capacity. And I don't think that would work either. Nightclubs rely on their venue being full. Why? Because every person will pay an entry fee and then those people that are in the club will buy drinks. The more people in the venue, the more opportunity there is for a sale. Ultimately, a dance floor does not make money on its own. It's kind of a flawed business model. If you go to a restaurant, for example, you effectively rent an area of that restaurant while you're buying the food. You know, your table is the rented space and you spend money through the meal that you, you buy and effectively that bit of floor space is making money. In a hotel, the room is the area that you're renting for the night and it makes money. In a nightclub, it's a bit different. The dance floor is the space, the floor space, but it doesn't make money on its own. So you need a high volume of people to enter the premises because it maximizes your chance for sales. And therefore, we need a lot of people in these venues in order for the business to make money. I think with the government pushing the opening date as late as possible, it reduces the need potentially for social distancing to happen um, as this virus hopefully goes away and therefore the venue can open in a fuller sense. In the meantime, will there be some casualties? Well, much like restaurants and some shops, unfortunately, I think there will be. This is not being negative. I think this is just a reality of, of the situation that we're in. What will actually happen is a massive unknown at the moment, but I have everything crossed that we will reopen and the UK nightlife scene will thrive once again. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, I'm really, really keen to open up a bit of discussion. Leave a comment in the uh, box below and I will get back to you. If you like this kind of thing, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Give this video a like and I will see you in the next one.